Sam. Sam Crawford from Buffalo? Depends. I don't understand. Didn't Marty tell you about the safe-cracking job? Never. Ever talk business in public. Sorry. Yeah. What time do we go tomorrow? We go today. Today? Lady, I was told the job was for tomorrow. Well, there's been a small uh, change. It seems our friendly stockbroker had a deal he had to negotiate on Monday. <laughs> I don't like it. 24 hours is no small change. Neither is the 100,000 in negotiable securities sitting in his safe this very minute. Talk to me. Well, my inside source called me last night and told me that Ogden... Ogden? Oh, the stockbroker's name is Ogden. Go on. Well, it seems that Ogden and his wife are ski freaks, and this being the end of the season, they planned an extra long weekend someplace in Vermont. Oh, but the snow didn't show, uh, so they're heading back tomorrow. That's why we have to go today. Uh, the 100,000 in... Negotiable securities are part of a deal to be transacted at Ogden's home on Monday. Rather than come back into the office to pick up the bonds, he stashed them in his private safe over the weekend. It's kind of careless. Well, he doesn't think so. He's been doing it for years. Up until now, no one even knew the safe was there, not even Ogden's wife. <laughs> what about your source? Well, um, she was his mistress, and mistresses know everything. They have to. It's how they survive. Yeah, right. Well, speaking about survival, uh, splits 50-50, right? Wrong. All I want is the jewelry. You can keep the rest. I don't get it. Well, um, the jewelry belonged to my sister. She was Ogden's ex... Mistress. Right. He stole it from her and beat it right back to his wife. That jewelry represents five years of very boring conversations with a very boring stockbroker. And she wants it back. Yeah, well, it suits me, lady. You can have it all. I mean, uh, she can have it all. Never touch the stuff myself. It's too many problems. It's too hot. It's hard to sell. It can be traced. All I want is the securities. They're as good as cash. God, and we've got a deal. Now, here's where the house is. It's on Staten Island. Staten Island? Lady, I was told the job was in New York. Well, it is. Staten Island is a borough of New York. Oh, New York has five boroughs. Manhattan, Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, and Staten Island. Yeah, well, thanks for the geography lesson, but to be real honest about it, uh, it doesn't make me feel any less nervous. I don't like this at all. Hey, you can't back out now. I'm depending on you. I need you. Lady, I'm your friendly burglar. I ain't your brother. Please refrain from this I need you stuff. You want out? Is that it? Huh? Come on, out with it. Why, huh? It's because I'm a woman? Huh? Come on, the truth now. Sam, or whatever your name is, out with it. Okay, you finished? Because if you are, let me explain a basic principle upon which I operate my life. And that is that greed always takes precedence over growl. 
<laughs> and what does that mean? What it means is that I never allow my personal feelings, be they anger, annoyance, or your garden variety ticked offness at a partner in crime, be it male or female, to interfere with my earning my daily bread. So if you well, think that I would... why do you want out? Lady, I never said I wanted out. I said I was ready for Manhattan Island, not Staten Island. Manhattan, Staten, what's the difference? You're cracking a safe, not a city. The difference, lady, is I always like to case the joint. I am a pro. I am not one of your Central Park punks. Now, either we check out the hit, or I'm busting it back to Buffalo too sweet. Oh, is that all you want? Yeah, that's all I want, for now. Well, there's no problem, because that's already been done. Now, here's Ogden's house. We don't stand a chance. Now, what's the problem? Well, the problem is the house is in the open. It's too much in the open. I mean, there isn't a nosy neighbor on the whole street that wouldn't spot two strangers coming in, going out, and they'd call the cops, and I don't like it. Well, then why did you take the job? I've been trying to tell you. I took the job because I thought it was in Manhattan. Where there's plenty of noise, plenty of people, you won't be heard, and you won't be seen. And even if we tripped a dozen alarms, it takes the cops half a day to respond. So it's a little more risky. But just think of all that loot sitting there just waiting. I'm thinking. Believe me, it's the only reason I'm not halfway back to Buffalo by now. Who are these people? And how come they're running? Oh, they're college students. They're probably late for class. Oh, yeah? Where's the college? It's about a block from the house. Oh, yeah? That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Me. So, what do you think? How do I look? Joe College? Maybe Joe Preppy, so? So, on the way to your place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up one of these here school bags. My place? Yeah. You're next. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I mean, I would look stupid dressed like a preppy. Wrong. You look just like everybody else, and that's the point. You want to blend in. You don't want to be noticed. Okay, as soon as we finish the job, what we want to do is get away from the house as fast as possible, right? Right. Uh, yeah. Okay, car's too risky. It's a quiet street. Somebody might notice the car. So the fastest way is to run. Run? Are you feeble? Now that's suspicious. Oh, yeah? What bank they rob? Oh. Yeah. Let's go to my place. It's gonna work. You're a perfect little co -ed. Perfect little dodo is more like it. Must we do this? Now I know why I've been having that nightmare. It's this job. Oh, so it's back to me again. No, no, no. It's not back to you. It's back to anyone. Look, I usually work alone. I make my own plans. I have never been caught. And the only time that I've ever come close is when I work with a partner. And what does that mean? It means that from now on, I'm running things. I am the boss. I say what we wear and when we go. I'm doing this for your own good, lady. I'm not a lady, and the name is Kara. I'm doing this for your own good, Kara. You're repeating. I'm repeating because ladies' jails are no fun. Women's jails are no fun. Now you're repeating. You're right. And even though you're very silly, you're also very cute. 
What's my first order, Mr. Sam Crawford? Your first order is you never mention your partner's name. Forget names, especially if you're caught. What's the difference? We're bound to have some identification. Who says we're bound to have some identification? No one. I guess we don't have to carry wallets. Now you're learning. No wallets, no purses, no identification. I get it. I get it. No wallets, no purses, no identification, no etc., etc., etc. Right. Let's go crack a safe. <laughs> Time the job so we exit the house about five minutes before the start of a new class. And dressed like college kids, we head for campus and we're running, just like everybody else around here. Come on. Four fifteen. That means we've got to be finished and out of the house by four ten. Okay, when we hit the campus, we enter at Williams Hall at the north end. like this. Cute. It's a Leclerc safe. It's going to take some finessing. Well, can you do it? It's a little late to ask that question, lady, but the answer is yes. Can I help? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, you can. You can go out to the front room and you keep your eye on the road, and if you see anything, and I mean anything suspicious, you come and you tell me too sweet because it's... I know. Ladies' jails are no fun. Now you learn it. <laughs> in the lawn.
on, baby, go through. Go through. Come on. Come on. He heard. He heard, but he's not sure what, and I don't think he cares. Negotiables. Lots of them. Uh-uh. Mm. The jewelry's not part of the deal. Remember, it belongs to my... Your sister. She can have it all. We gotta go. We got about three minutes before class starts. Smoking's bad for your health. Would you please just get in your truck and go? to hit an alarm or something. Shouldn't we run or something? No. In Manhattan, we could have run. People do it all the time. We could have ducked into a subway. We could have gotten lost in a crowd. It's too much in the open here. We'd be spotted and pinned in a second. No running. It's too suspicious. I'm scared. It's natural. It's natural. Just keep looking in the window. Please, lady, don't cry. It's an ambulance. Okay, okay, I got you. Yeah, cool. A policeman. Be cool. He's following us. Maybe he's just walking in the same direction we are. I'm never going to make it to the ferry. You're kidding. Can you make it to the cafe across the street? I can try. Come on. Let's stop. Oh, well, maybe we should go and ask him for directions. You know, I once saw this movie. Don't are... be dumb. What did I have? Coffee and a piece of pie. Well, I have the same thing.
stay calm. He comes up to us and stops. What you do is you throw the coffee in his face and then we run. Pete! I'm just gonna use the phone. Sure. God, what if he's calling for help? He'd use his radio. Are you sure? I mean, maybe he's... Marie, where you been? You know, my tour was over half an hour ago. I've been up and down Grand Street half a dozen times looking for you. No, 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 no. I'm not complaining. I... I'm merely pointing out that... Of course I still want to see you. But you know how I feel. I'm at Pete's Cafe on Grand Street. Ten minutes? No, of course. I don't mind. Yeah, I'll be right out in front. All right, all right. I'll see you in ten minutes, okay? All right, goodbye. Will that be all? Yeah. It says 540. All right, uh... You got any money? No. Remember? No wallets, no purses, no et cetera, et cetera. Uh-huh. Two deadbeats. This is the third time this month. You college kids are nothing but crooks. No, here, look. You take my watch. That watch won't get me a nickel. No one wants a watch nowadays, especially me. Cash. Or I call that cop. Well, I'll send you a check with interest. I'm no bank. I don't loan money and I don't want interest. Randy, come here, will you please? These college student bums owe me $5.40 and they won't pay. Is that true? I just forgot my wallet, that's all it is. Please, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. There you go, Pete, they'll bring you your money tomorrow. I want the money now, or I want them arrested. I've been beat three times by these wise guy college kids. Arrested? Pete, you know what that means? That's two hours of paperwork down at the station house. It ain't worth it for a lousy five bucks in change. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. You, uh, you look like an honest guy. I'll take care of this myself, all right? I got a date in a couple of minutes, and I don't want to be late. OK, here, here. You meet me here tomorrow at the same time and pay me back, all right? Right. Thanks, officer. Uh, just a minute, I'll take that bag. For, uh, security, you understand? You give me back my five bucks tomorrow, I'll give you back your books, right? Right. Randy! Hey, sweetheart! Don't forget now, tomorrow you're gonna be here with my money, right? Sure. Will we? That's a good question. <laughs> 